Hey guys, David, Three Rivers Card Collector here, back with another video. I got three vintage Pirates cards in the mail today. They all tie together around one upgrade, quote unquote, uh, that I got for my collection. So I had, emphasis on had, a BVG6 Willie Stargell rookie. Uh, one of the corners was pretty jacked on it, so I wasn't super uh, content with it. I always wanted to get a better looking one, but it's a very difficult card to find one with decent centering and two with good color. Well, this one popped up on Twitter. This is an SGC4. I got what I felt was a good price on this one, so I scooped it up. As you can see, pretty good centering. And uh, corners are soft, but much better than the one I had. And it's two whole grades lower. So what I did is I picked this one up and I sold my six. So I still have a Star Jewel rookie in my collection. And I used that extra money I got from the flip. And I picked up two extra cards. I got this 1952 Tops Bob Friend in a PSA 3. Decent centering, good color though. This is my first Bob Friend card for my Vintage Pirates collection. Always love the 52 Tops set. And I also picked up, this is an upgrade from a raw copy I have. The 1922 E21 American Caramel Series of 120, Wilbur Cooper. All-time Pirates, great picture there. This is in a PSA 2. So my raw copy was pretty beat up, had a little bit of writing on it, and had a little chunk taken out of the side. It was a raw, pretty cheap throw-in from the Pittsburgh show. But now I got a... Got a graded one without the writing on it. So that's just a story there of how I turned one Willie Stargell rookie into a Willie Stargell rookie plus two other cards for my collection. So make this a lesson here if you haven't already figured it out. Buy the card and not the grade and use that to your advantage. You might be able to add a couple extra cards to your PC. So a quick little mail day video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.